Welcome friends. It's time for a new activity and today's Friday. So I like to do what's missing. So let's reveal what our special objects are today. Oh, these are interesting objects. Here is an envelope. And what do we do with envelopes? We put in them special cards or wishes to send someone a greeting in the mail. Envelope. And what's this? This is a special Valentine's necklace. You can put it over your head and wear it. Valentine's heart. A heart necklace. Can you say that word necklace? Oh, very good. And look at this. This is a roll of stamps. These are real stamps. They have flags on them and you put them on the envelope to mail it in your mailbox or in the big blue mailbox or at the post office. A roll of stamps. This is a Valentine's Day card with a greeting on the back. Some of you may be getting some Valentine's soon. And this is my favorite, a special heart shake cookie. I made these with my granddaughter and they're yummy. So let's review what we have. Envelope, heart necklace, roll of stamps, Valentine's card, or we could just call it a Valentine, and heart shaped cookie. Put your thinking caps on. I'm going to cover here, let's see, I'll put it right on my lap like this. Cover this with my cloth. I'm going to take one away. I wonder what one it's going to be. Oh, I'm moving my hand all around and I'm going to take something away. What's missing? Hmm, this is a roll of stamps. This is a heart-shaped necklace. This is an envelope. This is the cookie. What was here? Oh, is that what your guess is? Let's see. A Valentine was missing that time. You're right. Okay, I'm gonna cover it up again and see if you can remember where everything is. This time we have five objects. Cover the tray. I'm gonna put my hand in and see what I'm going to take away this time. Okay, are you watching? What's missing? The Valentine's here and the envelope's here and the roll of stamps and the necklace. What was here? Right, it's the cookie. Good job. Let's try again. What am I gonna take away this time? Oh, I don't know. What's missing? Cookie, Valentine, big space here, necklace, envelope. What's your guess? I think you're right. Let's see. Did you say roll of stamps? Oh, you are so clever. One more time, let's try it. What am I gonna take away this time? What's missing? Can you see? Do you remember? Cookie, 
Valentine, stamps, necklace, envelope. Yes, it was the big red envelope. You are so right. Do you want to try one last time? All right, let's try it. What's going to be missing this time? I wonder. What's missing? I have a cookie. Envelope. Big space. Stamps and a valentine. Oh, you're so smart. You are so smart. It's my heart-shaped necklace. And I'm going to put it on to wear it. Good job, everyone. You are getting to be such good detectives and good rememberers, if that's a word. Okay. Well, I have a wonderful story today. It's called Love, Ruby Valentine. It's written by Lori Friedman and illustrated by Lynn Avril. Oh, there's lots of hearts on this book. And here's my friend, Ruby. Deep in the heart of Heartland, in a house of oak and pine, with her feathered friend named Lovebird, lived Ruby Valentine. Oh, this is a rhyming story. I like it. Now, Ruby had a favorite day, and Valentine's was it. According to all who knew her, the day was a perfect fit. Ruby loved to say, I love you. And she loved to say, be mine. And she loved to sign her hearts and cards. Love, Ruby Valentine. Oh, I bet she makes her cards. Valentine's was Ruby's chance to do what she loved best. As the special day drew closer, Ruby would not stop to rest. With five days until Valentine's, Ruby started making cards. She and Lovebird sprinkled glitter. They curled ribbons by the yards. Ooh, her bird friend helped her. With four days down and counting, Ruby and Lovebird began to bake. They cut out heart-shaped cookies. They iced a heart-shaped cake. They never left the kitchen with only three days more to go. Ruby and Lovebird filled up goodie bags and tied each one with a bow. With just two days remaining, they worked morning, noon, and night, signing cards and wrapping gifts until each package was just right. With Valentine's one day away, Ruby carefully checked her list. Then she loaded up her wagon. No one in Heartland would be missed. She's very generous and kind. The night before Valentine's Day, Ruby chose what she would wear. She tried on her purse and shoes. She washed and curled her hair. And she was very careful in what she selected. When everything was in order, Ruby made a special sign. It sat high atop her wagon and read, Love, Ruby Valentine. That's a neat last name. Tired from all of her hard work, Ruby lay down on her bed. She hadn't planned to stay long, just to picture the day ahead. When she closed her eyes, Lovebird scarcely made a peep. She snuggled up next to Ruby, and they both fell fast asleep. Oh, boy. They slept right through the morning and on into afternoon. They slept right past the evening. They never saw the moon. 
Oh dear. And when they finally awoke, Ruby saw with dread the date. That was when she realized they were very, very late. I can't believe I miss Valentine's. Now I'll have to wait a year to tell everyone I love them. Ruby wiped away a tear. She slowly picked up cards and started putting gifts away. When in a squawky voice, Lovebird said, let's go today. Ruby looked at Lovebird. Folks won't like this one bit. It's the 15th, not the 14th. They're sure to pitch a fit. But Lovebird kept on squawking to Ruby to make a choice. All we can do is try, she said in a tiny voice. So she straightened up her wagon and tried hard not to frown. With Lovebird on her shoulder, Ruby slowly walked through town. Look, she has a heart necklace on too. She delivered cards and candy. She passed cookies from a tray. She gave out gifts and goodie bags to all the town people that day. Then she summoned up her courage and did what she had to do. I know I'm so, so late, she cried, but I'm so, so sorry too. All the people gathered in the square. What happened next surprised her. No one seemed to mind. They just thanked and hugged her for being sweet and kind. You've made today a celebration, so why would we protest? Hip, hip, hooray for Ruby. We think you're the very best. And that's when Ruby realized that saying, I love you, doesn't have to wait until Valentine's. Any day will do. So now she sends out cards all year that say, will you be mine? And the signs each and every one, love Ruby Valentine. She is a thoughtful girl and it's true. Any day is a good day to say, I love you. I love you for listening. Have a wonderful day.